Nothing. Isn't that your new hoe? Oh, that's messed up. Really? I think it serves her right. Nasty. What did she do? She was late. Late? And you? Wait, like regular late or angel style late? Minutes late. And that's why she's getting f***ing off? A harsh talk wasn't enough? Violence is a language that people understand. And sometimes, when it's necessary. Pretty much what a corrupt cop would say. When it's necessary. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Too bad she's enjoying it. What? No, she's not. Of course she is. She's not. Are you fucking blind, Foxy? Oh yeah? How do you know that? It's fucking obvious. If you haven't tried it before, you can't assure it. <laughs> it was worth it. You don't have to worry about the shit, baby. It's hell. Do those words seal our partnership? But can be a pleasant replacement. <laughs> it sounds about right. right. And, and I believed, believed you. Every single, single word you said. Wanted to discuss, discuss the details? <laughs> sure, baby. There was no, no reason to put in doubt our association. You really know how to use your body, huh? <laughs> I know my business. You craved for power. I wanted to be amused. Your reputation was my best guarantee. The cruel and heartless Valentine. The lust and the depravity of the Lord. He would never fall for something as foolish as love. Or that's what I thought. I guess we're both bad liars. Oh, what a pain. Ah. Finally over. Say, Vox, did you break your fingers? Eh? Val? What? What are you doing here? I mean, you're awake? Smoking. Yeah, I can see that. So... Are your fingers broken? What the hell? No! Why are you asking that? It was f***ing annual cleanse, asshole. You could at least let me know you didn't end up as a stain on the ground. Were you too busy fingering Oh, baby. Were you worried or just jealous? It's okay now. Daddy's back. <laughs> what a nice joke. You can say funny shit if you want to. <laughs> but joking aside, Voxy, it really makes me worry to think about the uncertain future of all your money and properties if you cease to exist. Guess the same goes for you, hmm? You know, we should implement a new clause in case one of us don't make it through extermination. 
A new cause. Are you plotting to kill me? And become a nasty rich widow? <laughs> Keep dreaming, Val. That's not... You haven't. What a misconception you have about me, Sparky. It's going to happen. You've been waiting for me. Hmm. It's not a bad idea, though. This whole time. If I get rid of you by myself, that would definitely boost my status. Hmm. Too bad I just spoiled it all by talking about it out loud. <laughs> right? Are you f kidding me? Oh, uh, Roxy. You died. Mother f Hmm. Why don't you shut that off and join me in bed? Yeah, baby. Be that a bit. You died. Babe? Oh, sh**. Babe. Dal, honey, baby, darling, sweet pea, I'm so sorry. You f***ed up. Bed. Now, Voxia. <laughs> Yes, sir. Hell better get ready for some great radio silence. <laughs> your words fall flatter than your screen. Hmm. Yes, fucking kiss already. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy analysis in a tree. K I S S I N G. Would you care to repeat that? That singing ain't gonna cover funeral expenses. I'm going to fucking kill her! Hey, Roxy, have you seen my Alistair pillow anywhere? Get out! I hate him. Phil. No, he flaked on us again. It's been so long since we've all been together. Ever since that radio demon guy's been letting Vox hang around, it's like we don't exist. We stuck with him through his pining bull and this is how he thinks us? So yeah, I do hate Vox. <laughs> okay, okay. Come here. You feel replaced. And you don't? Not at all. I've known Vox for a long time. And Alistair, even longer. He gets bored easily. Al breaks all his toys eventually. And when he does, we'll be there to pick up the pieces.